Hello and welcome to part 4 of my second attempt at a Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke. That's right, we've done this before. It didn't end in success, but uh, it was a fun journey along the way. It's been a while and I decided to restart it uh, not that long ago. And it's a weekly series on Thursdays. So let's do a team recap. We have 50, the level 10 Geodude, who has Tackle and Defense Curl. Next. Oh, I think I can just go. Yeah, I can go up and down. Okay. We have Flaps, the level 3 Pidgey, with just Tackle. We have Daniel, the level 9 Cyndaquil, with Tackle, Live, and Smokescreen. We have Stingy Boy, the level 4 Kakuna, with Harden. And we have CJ, the level 5 Unknown, with Hidden Power, who is not part of the team. Why have you not been put in the box? I'm not using an Unknown. I am not using an unknown, ladies and gentlemen. Let us put this in the box. Goodbye, CJ. And uh, also in the box, we have Tommy, the Zubat caught in Dark Cave, level 2 Zubat. Um, that we're also not using because we already have a flying type and a poison type. Okay, so in the last episode, I believe we took on everyone but Faulkner in his gym. And I was unsure as to whether it's a good idea to take on Faulkner. I think it is. I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to go with it. So this could be the shortest Nuzlocke ever. In fact, it wouldn't be. And um, fun fact, I have done a shorter Nuzlocke than four episodes. So, <laughs> so let's find out. I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the Magnificent Bird Pokemon. Bring it on! Bring it on! Excuse the noise of my notebook. May put my pen down on my notebook in the background? I always have a notebook for Nuzlocke so that I can keep tabs on who I can't wear and etc. For two reasons. One, dupes claws and two, so I know where I've had encounters. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that's not good. Okay, that still does nothing. Drops my accuracy, though. Come on, Fisty. This might be a problem, guys. This might be a problem. Yeah. Oh, no, we hit another tackle. Nice. Okay, just one more. Damn it. Come on, Fisty. Damn it. I think one more will knock it out. But it's not going to hit one more now. We're just getting accuracy drops out the wazoo. That's all of the accuracy drops, I believe. Now we have the lowest accuracy possible. Come on, hit a tackle. Nice. Come on, knock it out. Not nice. Have a potion. I don't need it yet. Even a crit doesn't kill. Now a crit kills. Come on. Yeah, okay, nice. Learned Rock Throw. Ooh, nice. Okay, I've got a plan now. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. Where is Daniel? Yes, Daniel is also weak to uh, Mud Slap. But I reckon Daniel can take at least one or two. Oh, it used Gust. Interesting choice. Oh, wow. Maybe I couldn't take a Mud Slap. Oh, that's not good. Let's get a couple of these up. Shouldn't be risking this, really. We should be healing up Geodude this turn. Because as soon as Daniel takes that next gust, we're going to have to switch out. There it is. Don't crit. Crit's a double. Woo, okay. So now, with a couple of uh, smoke screens up and with rock throw. Nice. Okay, we got this. We got this. Oh, it hits the mud slot though. That's not good. Lowers my accuracy on rock throw. 
Oh, right, now you can just hit anything, can you? I use smoke screen, you know, not double team. There we go. Rock throw. Ooh, okay, we finished with a tackle because I, I believe tackle's more accurate. Three in a row! Are we joking? Oh, okay, I hit a tackle though, I can't really complain. Nice! Okay, little bit traumatic, but we got the badge. We got the badge. Level 10 for Daniel. Damn, Daniel! Darren, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. Alright, take this. It's the official Pokemon League Zephyr badge. And 900 Poké Dollars too, nice. Oh, I was supposed to do voices, wasn't I? Oh well, Faulkner only appears once, screwing with his voices. Zephyr badge raises the attack power of Pokemon. It also enables Pokemon to use Flash if they have it anytime. Here, take this too. I'll be Mud Slap then. Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act, a TM can be used only once. TM31 contains Mud Slap. It reduces the enemy's accuracy while it causes damage. In other words, it is both defensive and offensive. It is very offensive. This is uh, not welcome here on this channel. Oh, Prof Elm. Uh, hello, Ibeza. We discovered something about- we discovered something about Feg- about Feg. My assistant is at Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could- could you talk to him? Okay. Don't give me a chance to answer anything, that's fine. So we'll- we'll heal up first, so I don't forget. Heal up first, so I don't forget. And then, we'll get this egg. I don't think we gave this guy a voice. Let's give him a Professor Fink voice anyway. The bears are not long time no see. That's a terrible Professor Fink. I used to be able to do it. Hi, <laughs> Professor Elm asked me to find you. <laughs> you have another a favor to ask. Would you take the Pokemon egg? Sure. I, I don't have to do that voice again, so that's fine. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna put egg as an encounter here. There we go. Um, oh, I that wasn't listening to you, mate. You were rambling on about an egg. Bye. Call him when that egg hatches. Okay, we'll do. Right, so next stop is Bugsy after the. Uh, The tower. Bell Sprout Tower. So there'll be no ghosties in there at the moment because I'm playing during the day. Which is a shame because I'd like to catch a ghastly. Although I won't be able to evolve it into a Gengar because I'm playing on DS, so there's no there's no turned off impossible evils as an option here. And that's fine. However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. Cool story. So yeah, there's encounters in it. I think it's only Rattatas during the day. I think. Despite being Bellsprout Tower, that you can't actually catch Bellsprout in here. Just everyone uses one. Go, Flops. Let's see how Flops holds his own. Flops or Daniel would be good options for Bugsy, so... Playing both. But Flops is gonna hold his own at least against a couple of Bell Sprouts. Nice. Oh, nice and level up. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Bell Sprout! Okay, if we could um, Learn Gust soon. I think that's like level 5, isn't it? So as long as you get to level 5 here, that this will make the whole tower a whole lot easier. Because Gust is actually a flying type move in Gen 2, unlike Gen 1. Oh, wow, okay, 5%. Thank you. Tackle's still 95% accurate on these games, though. I don't even know when that changed, but it definitely changed. Nice. Ghost is 100% accurate though. Woo wee! 
Oh, sand attack. I thought it was going to be ghost. Oh, I'm disappointed now. Disappointed. So when do we learn ghost? Probably like level 7, right? Still doing two. That's annoying. So do we go back and heal up flaps, or do we just... Oh, wow. Okay, a crit kills here. Okay, there's no way I missed two in a row. I mean, there's every way I missed two in a row, but I've already missed two when I really shouldn't have by this point. I definitely haven't used 20 yet. Never mind, 40. So one in 20 chance of missing. 5%. I might go heal, because we're only on the first floor. I'm gonna go heal. Move! I might even, with my gym money, buy myself a couple of Pataillons, just to uh, heal up on my way up the tower. in Violet City. It's over here! Hello! Uh, have we got anything we want to sell? No, not particularly. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to buy some stuff. Oh, I've not got that much money. No. Uh, actually, yeah, 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 yeah. So I can't use these in battle because I hate I hate heal spamming, but I can use these just to save myself some trips back to the Pokemon Center, that's the idea. That's the idea. I think they're the only potions I have at the moment. Yeah. So if I pick up a potion, pick up a potion. Uh, if I pick up a potion, I can use that in battle. But if I buy a potion, I can only use it out of battle. That's, that's like my own little self-imposed rule, because I just... I find it really boring watching Poketubers that just like buy loads of potions and heal spam their way through battles. Like, if you're gonna lose, take it take it gracefully, you know. It's like that paralyzed heal I can use in a battle. But if I bought some, I couldn't. I couldn't use them. We stand guard in this tower here. We express our gratitude to honor all Pokemon. What are you guarding exactly? And generally to guard, you need something to guard, you need a purpose to guard. What are you guarding? The tower itself? I thought the tower was super strong according to the last guy. So it shouldn't need your protection. It whips his vines back and forth. It whips his vines back and forth. I don't know why I've never done that when I do the tail whip thing all the time. Nice! High roll. Can we get Gust? Probably a one bomb if I get Gust. No, still no Gust. Damn! Oh well, we're gaining levels well here. I'm not going to do it for every single Vine Rip since that's the only move Bellsprout can have at this point. Oh, another nice high roll on the second tackle. Come on, Gust. 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 Damn it. Dang nabbit. Can we talk for a minute about Faulkner and his illegal Pidgeotto, by the way? Like, how has he got a level 9 Pidgeotto? Maybe he played yellow. I <laughs> think there's level 9 Pidgeotto's in that, right? But how? How did they exist? Ooh. Is that the first bell sort I've taken down and not gained the level? Might be. So thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. X defend. I found an item I can sell. Woo! Oh, hello. Sway like leaves in the wind. Okay. Sure thing. I would, but there's no point because I don't have face cam, so people wouldn't be able to see me swaying. So you just have to believe me. And I said I was swaying, and that takes away a lot of fun, I suppose. Fine, quick. 
Okay, will this level us up? I'm not entirely sure. It does. Okay, come on, Gust. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. It is showtime, folks. We got this. Look at the flaps already being like... Oh, damn it. Okay, already being like level 9. Crazy. Okay, so I thought I pressed A to switch the move, but clearly I don't. So I press select and then select again. But I'm going to tackle her because there's no need to gust. Even though it's got the same PP and what have you, like, gust is more useful overall. I would say. It's actually got a chance to be super effective against something. There's nothing that's immune to it, um, unlike tackle. So, yeah. I don't think I'm going to encounter any electric types coming up here. Oh, I'm weak. And if I did, I would just switch to Fisty. I wouldn't use Flaps. So, yeah. Gust is more useful than Tackle. Confirmed. Oh, first encounter in Bellsprout Tower. Or is it just Sprout Tower? I forget. I'm going to call it Sprout Tower. And shockingly, it's a Rattata. So I can catch this. There's my Sprout Tower encounter. Level 6, good grief, okay. So let's weaken it. Oh, wow, that's some damage. Yeah, that's not bad damage either. I'm going to now switch into Fisty to take the tackles on the chin like a boss and start throwing some balls. It whips his tail back and forth, it whips his tail back and forth. Uh, pack, Pokeball. Down and B. Catch ourselves a ta 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 Yeah! Yeah! I don't have my diary open to see what today is. What is special about today? Oh, it's the 5th of November. I know what's special about today, but is there anything else? Other than, obviously, Guy Fox night in the UK. Can't call this guy. It's the opposite of a guy. It's a girl. Let's read the Pokedex data. Living wherever there is food available, it ceaselessly, ceaselessly scavenges, easy for me to say, for edibles the entire day. For edibles? For edi... edi uh, edibles? Wow, who knew that Rattata was that way inclined? So, forget what day it is today. I have a nickname. I know a streamer who has occasionally been known to eat an edible before streaming. So Rattata is now called Nerdy. After no one in particular. Honest police. I think it's legal where she is to be fair. Um, potions. So I can use one of my potions in battle. Speaking of using my potions, it's not time yet. It's not time yet. Oh, another encounter. How fun. Oh, it's only a level 3. Okay, I got luck again, a level 6 one. Less training to do. Use Gust because of the no chance to miss. Nice! And we get level 10 from that. Very nice. So we're now level with Daniel. We've got th two level 10s and a level 11. Very nice, very nice, very nice. I trained to find enlightenment in Pokemon. Do you now? Oh, do you now? I think we're going to get Faulkner and Sprout Tower, or Bell Sprout Tower, whichever one it is. All done in one episode, which is very good, very good, very good. Ooh, we got Gush just in time. We're fighting higher level Bell Sprouts now. Nice, sit down. Sit down. Woo, good experience. Good night, Sage Jin. Beaten by a mere child. Listen. Listen, you. That's a mere. The Elder's HM lights even pitch black darkness. So I don't think you can do anything in Dark Cave at this point, even once you've got Flash. I don't think. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I don't think you can get anywhere in Dark Cave. If there's a reason to go in Dark Cave with Flash, then let me know in the comments and I'll do it next week. But uh, as far as I know, there isn't it. Nice.
It is my head that is bright. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. I mean, I'm playing under Nuzlocke rules, so there has to be a certain level of trust there, right? Otherwise, I just lose. I just don't bother because I, I know I'd lose. Come on then, Bellsprout. Level 11 Pidgey says hi. Rex. What did we start off at? Level 3 today. Level 11 now. Riggedy Rizek, CERN. And a Hoot Hoot, if I remember rightly. Yeah, just a random Hoot Hoot guy. Uh, I'm just going to... I'm going to use Fisker here. Why not? Why would I not use the type advantage? I think we're basically already ready for Bugsy at this point. Oh yeah, Fisty would be good for Bugsy as well, I forgot about that. I've got like an anti-Bugsy team. Oh wow, that's what I needed. Nice. Boom. Sage Troy. Yes, your trust is real. Hmm. Or maybe I just know my type advantages. Should I heal Pidgey here? Uh, still not taking any more damage though. You are indeed skilled as a trainer. As promised, here is your HM. But let me say this. You should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. I can't remember what voice. I usually give the broody sort of ASMR voice. <laughs> he claims to be the elder, but he's weak. It stands to reason. I'd never lose to fools who babble about being nice to Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. Oh, it's Nido. Okay, maybe that was the wrong voice then. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember what voice I gave. Let me know in the comments what voice I'm supposed to use for my rival. Ah, got me an escape rope. Here, here, here. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower. Okay, it's Sprout Tower. Sprout Tower is our place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. Okay. Bring it on. Bring it on, Sage Lee. With your bell sprout. Uh oh. Not gonna go well for you. Look at the shock on Bell Sprout's face. Doof. Sit down. Level 12. Wow. From level 3 to highest, giant highest uh, level team member in one episode. Well done, Flaps. I should mention, I've not added Nerdy to the layout because we already have a normal type in Flaps. Um, so Nerdy's going to be some backup in the PC. That's why I didn't add her to the layout. Just FYI. I if I I Nice Bell Sprout Um back to flaps. Daniel would be good if he learned Ember yet, but he has not. Now it's probably not the time to start training him up. Uh, next episode we'll start trying to love even the team up now. I can't remember what level Bugs is at. I feel like something around 13 might be about right. If that's the case, then we're basically already ready for him. Bit of switch training and we'll definitely be ready. Nice! Sit down, Sage Lee. Ah! Ah! Wait, what was it? Ah, excellent! You and your Pokémon should have no problem using this move. Take this Flash HM! Cool. Flash illuminates even the darkest of all places. But to use it out of battle, you need the badge from Violet's Gym. Already got it, dude! 
been a good episode. Been a good episode, and we're going to leave it there. Leave a like if you enjoyed today's episode. I'm going to move down a bit, actually, so we've not got that awkward, like, border at the top where it's just empty void. I like the whole screen to be filled. So, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. Also, check the description. Um, if you're not sure what's been going on in this episode, the Nuzlocke rules are down there. A bit late to tell you now, but whatever. Also, my other channels, my social media, my Patreon, all that fun stuff will be in the description down below. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I will see you next time.